hello guys welcome back to an another video in this video we will solve ts 2020 c plus paper it has got 10 questions as c plus is a programming language the there will be like 50 to 80 percent direct questions and only 20 to 30 percent logical tricky questions the direct questions holds mostly syntaxes and definitions and the remaining logical and uh, tricky questions be like just confusing nothing much just confusing options and nothing much now let's start with our first question our first question is data encapsulation means it's a it's a very direct question grouping of data and methods into a class is correct option as we know that you may get confused between encapsulation and abstraction so be careful Ab uh, Abstraction means hiding implementation details. Be thorough with Coop's, con Coop's concepts like what is class, object, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, etc. Now let's jump into our second question. Which of the following symbol is preceded to define destructor? This is very basic question. Tilt symbol is used for destructor. Here it is that. So the second option is correct. This, this is scope resolution operator and it is used to access global variable global variable when there is a local variable with same name. This is not symbol and this is an ampersand symbol bitwise, bitwise and operator and it and it does and operation on every bit of two numbers the result of and is one if if both bits are one now let's get into a third question Syn syntax for deleting an array for which memory is allocated dynamically First, let's see what delete is. Delete is an operator that is used to destroy array and non-array pointer object, which which are created by new expression. Delete can be used by uh, delete can be used by using delete operator or delete of delete of operator. In the in the key, it is given as third option is is correct but as per syntax first option is also correct and is also correct and i have tested it and it worked successfully now coming to the second and last options they are synta syntactically wrong so they give an error here first and third option is also correct both are correct you will get scored if you put this option also and now let's go to the fourth question which of the following is not a member dereferencing operator in c++ star is the dereferencing operator in c++ so the option that is not included with star is the correct option so the first option is correct as remaining options consist consist star Th this here we can see only first option is not included star here in second option we have star third option star fourth op option star so uh, finally we have remained with this so it is the correct option this paper has got many questions on operators so learn all uh, operators and their uses now let's go to our fifth question operator operator function to overload unary decrement op operator is dash assume point as point is a class here it is saying that using friend function overload and decrement operator using a point as class here uh, as, as it is very simple to think that first we have to uh, the option here the option uh, answer is given this but here there is a printing mistake here it should be two 
minus because decrement will contain two minuses so as usual it's friend void operator it's calling operator function and we here we are passing reference of the class so point point is the class name and ampersand is the reference of the class that's it and now let's jump into our sixth question in function overloading correct function is invoked invoked based on here options given are number of arguments only number and type of arguments only number and type of arguments written and written type written type only you may get confused between second and third option the correct option is second because we only call a function by using number and type of arguments we but we never pass written type while calling a function okay i think you got clear understanding in this now let's get into a seventh question syntax for multiple inheritance in c++ is here a comma b1 b2 are class names here we have uh, we have uh, to give a syntax we have to give a syntax for a multiple inheritance using a b1 b2 classes so let's see how it works here all the options are wrong because here it is given like this here it is exchange exchange is used it is used in java only it works in java only and here it is given as this and here it is given here it is used as scope resolution operator here third option is given correct i think they have missed they have printing mistake like they did not put colon here colon is the mandatory in c++ while using inheritance and if we put colon it will be the correct option class a which is the uh, present class and here the uh, inter uh, inheritance in class here it should be colon and here there uh, it's a first inheriting class and second inheriting class and yes some of the executable statements now let's get into the eighth question value syntax of pure virtual function declaration is pure virtual a pure virtual function is initialized with zero and here the second option is correct first and third options are having definitions a pure virtual function don't have any definitions and, and here you may get confused between second and fourth but here the difference is first we will mention virtual and next we will have the written so this is the correct as syntax syntactically now let's get into this ninth question which of the following cg function moves file pointer backwards 30 bytes from current location cg is used to read file file using with respect to a reference point so the syntax for cg is file pointer let me write it file pointer file point file pointer dot cg 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 of number of bytes number of bytes used number of bytes to be number of bytes to be done comma reference point this is the syntax for cg so according to this syntax 
option fourth is the correct here we can see here this iOS current current location is given minus 30 is given this is syntactically completely wrong and this here there is a uh, scope resolution operator is given this side it is completely wrong here there here if we have comma it will it would be correct but here they have given as plus it will it is also wrong and here we have we should have comma cg of minus 30 comma i was current location okay and here i would also write here we should have colon so don't forget this basic syntaxes now let's get into our final question in c++ iOS function fills with a specified character in unused portion of output field of text. Here both A and C options are correct. Set fill is also a member of fill option fill. This set fill is also a subset of fill. Member of fill. And finally I wanna tell you that practice programs and learn all the concepts and be perfect with syntaxes like share and subscribe this video comment any doubts or questions thank you